Hallo und willkommen wieder bei Sarahs Music. Wir sind mitten in den Skyscrapers hier in New York auf dem Dach von der Carnegie Hall in der Resnick Education Wing. Und heute gibt es ein richtig cooles Projekt hier. In der Carnegie Hall wird Ausbildung ganz groß geschrieben. Carnegie's Weil Institute bietet sehr vielfältige Musikerziehungsprogramme für junge Menschen jeglichen Alters an, von kleinen Kindern bis hin zu Musikstudenten, alle mit verschiedenen sozialen Hintergründen. Andrew Carnegie wollte diese Terrasse schon vor 100 Jahren bauen. Und jetzt ist es eine Realität. Es ist ein super Ort und auch ein schönes neues Zuhause für Music Education in New York. In den Meisterklassen werden manchmal Stars zum Lehrer, wie hier die international renommierte Mezzosopranistin Joyce DiDinato unterrichtet eine junge Sängerin für eine Rolle in Mozarts Oper Don Giovanni. See, why? Okay. Okay. And you don't know it's coming. That's this, there's this fabulous eighth note rest. Mm -hmm. In quali eccessi onuni. Mm -hmm. Okay. In quali eccessi onuni. Quai mi sta più rividi tremendi. How bad is that tremendi? Really bad. It's horrible. Horrible. You're wonderful. Thank it's you so, so good much. to hear this in your voice, really. Beautiful. This is the main music space of the Resnick Education Wing, and I'm here with Christopher Amos from the Wild Music Institute. Chris, this space is incredible. We're way up in, amongst the pigeons up here at Carnegie Hall. What happens up here? Well, the Education Wing is the home of Carnegie Hall's Wow Music Institute, so it serves a wide range of music education and community programs for the hall. That includes work with very young children and families, um, school children from throughout New York City, uh, young artists, and young professionals. It's the most amazing space for education. It's a, real, it's a real calling card for what Carnegie Hall wants to say, how important music education is for them. I mean, 230 million, the renovations, 24 rooms. It took four years to create? Yes, it did. And it's allowed us to bring together all of our education programming, which happens throughout New York City, and bring many of those programs into the building. And as you have seen today, uh, we serve a wide range of people. And it's wonderful to see when those different groups of people have an opportunity to connect. So to have a member of the Berlin Philharmonic coming to work with young hip hop producers has just been a fantastic It's experience. been exactly the other way around for me. To, for me to be able to, a, a Berlin film musician who would never play hip hop otherwise, it's been incredible. And I, I got the feeling the kids are really proud to come here to the Carnegie Hall. You know, it, it, it's, it's a luxury to have your education space in the hall. It is, and it's, uh, it, it's fantastic space. It is the, the highest quality education space. Well, I mean, just the view for a start. Stunning. <laughs> Ich bin heute sehr gespannt und freue mich auch sehr. Ich bin heute eingeladen worden, hier in Carnegie Hall, in der Education Wing, teilzunehmen an einem Digital Music Production Workshop. Und das sind für Jugendliche zwischen 13 und 19 Jahre alt. Sie haben mir gesagt, ich soll mein Horn mitbringen. Mehr weiß ich wirklich nicht, aber ich bin sehr gespannt. Okay, we're going to get a little warmed up. You can stand up. We'll get into the organic orchestra, as we like to call it. Uh, I'm going to split you guys up into sections. And I think we're going to start off a little up-tempo today. Okay. You got to be awake. Oh, you're keeping the tempo. Jetzt bin ich dran. Ich soll spontan einen Vortrag über das Horn halten. 
basically, you have that, you have a mouthpiece. So you can play, also play on that, does it just sound so good? You put it in the horn, you use a lot of air, and out comes a note, if you're lucky. You need to coordinate lips, tongue, air, fingers, uh, brain, yeah. If I unrolled the horn, it would probably be about twice as long as this, but, but that's basically all it is. Here, hold it up. You just have to put a mouthpiece in. Help I've me. been recording for years and years and You've I've never, never recorded a garden hose. Or this is probably never going to happen again. Okay, you've been recording for years and years, but that was, have you ever tried good. to get a noise out of a garden hose? No. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's singing, that's not for you. Just as if you're spitting. Yeah, well, we're gonna work on that. The French horn can be a pretty cool instrument, and I think if that's okay with you guys, I would love to do some sampling with you and see what you can what you can do out of the French horn. I would love to hear that. Bit of the Mozart, maybe oh, you just yeah. want to put a little bit of the Mozart in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah? we try it. Just, just if you t if you record it, then we just. Nice. Okay, now it's your turn. In kleinen Gruppen mischen die Jugendlichen jetzt meine eingespielten Samples von Mozart und Star Wars zu neuen Tracks. Während die Jugendlichen noch mischen, unterhalte ich mich mit Matt und Pudge von Building Beats, Carnegie's Partner für diesen Workshop. Pudge, Matt, that was so much fun to be a part of your masterclass or workshop. Thank you. Um, it was, I felt like the most uncool person in the room with these kids who are used to sampling digital music. Where, where do the kids come from? Where, where, where do they come from and how, how do they get here apart from practice, practice, practice? Right. Um, well, <laughs> some of them, some of the TAs, the teacher assistants, and we work at other sites. And I know some of the kids go to Clinton High School. Um, we had, I'm not sure if we have any today, but some of them come from a probation, um, I guess, situation where they're in, they're, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but some of them are transitioning out of probation and back into like regular school systems and school structures. And they found out through the TAs and through other friends. And you say uncool, I say you might have convert. <laughs> you have people, you know, question, wondering about the classical a little bit more. The questions yeah. they were asking were great. and. You know, they you were, made it fun. They so. were fantastic kids. But what you do with them, I mean, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of work. You coming, you're classically trained, right? I was so you can trained. you can bring that also into the into the workshops with the with the you about keys and and yeah. and all that stuff. Do you find you need your classical training to do to be able to do these workshops? Because I think there's a lot of versatility in classical music, and you know, there's certainly um, sampling that they can grab from any piece of music that they they they've been. So to have the education is really great. It always helps, but it's certainly not necessary. A lot of people don't know what a major scale is, don't know what a minor scale is. But, but does they it really hear matter? it doesn't matter. No. They hear what they like and they're able to compose immediately. But what do you take away from these workshops? Oh, um, aside from the it's a little selfish to say, the most rewarding thing I get is actually what I learn from them. You know, some of the questions they ask, some of the things that I'm like, wow, I would have never asked that. I would have never thought to ask that when I was that young. You know, it makes me approach my music differently. So, so it's great. It's the coolest thing that happened today was just playing that little bit of Mozart just now. And there were two kids that came in that weren't there at the beginning, so they'd missed all of that. Mm -hmm. And the big guy there, I heard him say, he turned to his friend, he said, cool, that was sweet. <laughs> and I was like, yes. Right. Hey guys. Gleich ist es soweit. Mal sehen, was sie produziert haben. My mother's going to be proud. Mm -hmm.
remember when you would like you would play the horn, then you were talking? We could cut that up. We sampled your vocal first, then put it in the song. Then we sampled that the costs horn. extra. <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Who did this? Who did this one? All of us. I love it. I love it. Yo, yo. Every day on Saturdays, I wake up bumping music, listening to beats and the flow sounds amusing. I catch the ill vibe like Tip and Buster, word the mother. Pete Rock and CL Sue smoke, so brothers. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good.